Hey folks, Mad Rabbit here, and this is kind of what I'm going to be doing today. This place here, I'm going to give you a quick tour before I actually start in on it. Sort of a tutorial in a way. Um, obviously most of my tutorials are kind of sped up footage, and you're, you should be able to mostly be able to do this, um, this whole build by the end of this. Some of it's self-explanatory. But uh, I basically took an area, which you see here had nothing in it on my land that I made. Um, generated in from uh, world paint and um, developed it and that's what I've been I was been doing the past couple videos now just choosing an area going crazy developing it to the best of my ability as you see here I made some hills even made some crevices and stuff um, a lot of touch-up work still needs to be done and some of the outlying areas I did not fully do yet but I will be doing them eventually that might be in a future series future uh, episodes or something um, and I hopefully maybe in the future maybe doing even building in some challenge dungeons and stuff um, in the environment but that'll be that's long term that the challenge dungeon thing isn't really my thing today today is just a simple build of a, of a small castle I hadn't really done a castle just a small simple one before and I thought it would be good for a tutorial here I will give you some dimensions here in a minute for this but you can almost wing it and make it any dimensions you want but it's fairly simple design the uh, circle base towers or something I've done before as you see here the, the actual building 13 with 13 with 11 tall at least that's my dimensions if you want to change it be my guest um, this tower here basically three wide two diagonal and I went 19 tall with it that's from the base up um, I guess technically that would be 18 tall because of uh, the flooring. Here's a little weird because of the way it is. It's a little bit bigger, 5 by 3 diagonal. And uh, you'll see in a minute how high I go with it. But that was a little bit awkward because of the way the landscape was. And I'm doing a bridge, a walkover bridge, over this river. And I do 13 from each one. Now this one over here is also going to be Five by, by five by three diagonal. And what I'm going to do is go into MC Edit and basically copy the other tower and make some minor adjustments in it. Um, so you'll see that a little bit later, mainly to save me time. And the link is in the description. Twenty three high for this, but again, based upon however the landscape is, because uh, it's a little uneven here. It's um, you know, and this this thing I just go ten high on it. And everything's going to be connected by walkways, so I thought it would be pretty cool if I did that. But I'm going to try and do this with the landscape here. Just try and make um, lots of uh, lots of little things that are kind of custom built to the landscape. But there's also going to be a lot of things that are generico, where I just build a particular tower or building, and you'll see it maybe four or five times in the landscape because my continent is so huge. I'm sort of building a a, a fantasy world in a, in a in a way with my show. Um, I guess if you're new, just trying to inform people that are new to this show. But uh, yeah, season two, much bigger, much bigger build than season one. I was basically just concentrating on just that one small little area in a generated world. But this one here, I made up my own world with the, the world paint tool, custom built the. Uh, the continent and it's rather large so it's gonna take probably years and years to get through this but yeah there's the walkway I actually use the stairs for the crenellations on that I don't do that normally but for this it sort of worked more for a visual from the ground than it is for practical purposes and you always want to make sure everything you build is and, and particularly in things like this is an odd number so you get the correct uh, crenellations on top and the battlements or whatever you you know whatever you do I do change the, some of those supports later so if you're building along I think I changed some of them to wood so keep that in mind I really wasn't happy even still with my entryway because I had actually have the floor a little bit raised in there so I had this come in like that and I built like a sort of like a little raised platform area 
in here. Now you can do anything you want on the inside, but as you see, I do a stair system, and it's a little too narrow for my taste, but I do change some also some of the outside stuff, so you'll see that in a little bit later. But I do, I just do basically some support beams here, kind of two in diagonally from the from the corner. You could obviously opt out of doing this. It's not like some kind of requirement. I did it more for practical purposes, thinking of the building I have on top. It's going to need some sort, of, some sort of support. You could actually make rooms and stuff in here if you're doing it for practical purposes and actually make a better stair system. You'll see my stair system is a little too narrow. Um, and I do this just more for like an interior decoration kind of thing. It looks kind of nice to have some arches. And just yeah, let that go here. Okay. You can obviously replace these stone things or the actual log that's supporting this with a stone pillar too. That would probably be a little more practical. Wanna have some 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 wood in the design though, because too much of one coloring hurts the eyes. This doesn't look right from a design point of view. And this is sort of where I make the stairway system here. I, I wasn't really happy with it, but you'll see. Um, it's a little narrow and twisty, but it, it works just to get you up there. <laughs> so, again, you can always swap in your own design on this. Uh, as far as I put these in just as a temporary support and remove them. And I also replace those full blocks of wood with slabs in a few minutes. You'll see that. And it's just basically yeah, it just twists and turns down on its own. I do give it some support in the bottom. I leave some of those blocks. Because it doesn't quite look right with it just twisting and turning right in your face. And most of my shows out the mitt, most of my tutorials have not been about the interior stuff. It's been mostly focused upon exterior looks. Because to design all the interiors of all these large spaces on the inside not practical, it would take quite a while. But I did that just for the purposes of, of, of an idea for you if you're building along. Don't go too crazy with the with the with the um the torches on these things. You actually want it to be a little bit dark. And you don't want too many on the outside where it would be impractical to actually reach it. My roof design here is kind of a what I call a higher pitched roof design. We actually go up with a block one before each level, but up up here on the top it's just again if if you d if you did it even numbered, it wouldn't look right this would wouldn't have come out correctly so that's why I sort of like the odd number for the uh for the designs and all these things, including the towers too, as you see here. you can obviously put multiple levels in here. I only put i think just two or three on the interiors of the towers. It's difficult making a, a twisting stairway in any of these, so the practical thing would do to do on really all of this would have been just doing the ladder system going up would have been the most efficient um, if you're building it for practical purposes, like if you're in a survival world. Um, you can obviously replace the materials with cobble or a combination of cobble and wood. Again, the windows, I opted for uh, metal bars here in case you're wondering what those were but you could obviously put glass in too either way it doesn't matter and to give it a little more more of a stout look I decided to put some support things on the outside and go around with some of those stairs just to kind of give it a little bit more it gives it a little more supported look to it, a little more girth to its base And because it's a little bit uneven there, um, I want to try and keep it so they're all going to be even. I think I changed this, that one there. But uh, yeah, and then I tried a different design in this one. So you can choose whatever one you want. I went three, two, and then just did some stairs there. So on that smaller tower, I did this thing. So obviously different looks, and here as you see, yes, I'm replacing some of those with wood. Again, 
not too crazy with the torches on the other one that didn't quite work out so I wanted to put them on the middle I don't like putting them on the, on the middle and I did this thing here where you go up like if you want to look down and shoot arrows or something but that's optional too certainly not required so then I build one over there and when I copied and pasted this in the level was a little off as well as that so I had to build um, the entry to it so I had to build another kind of a walkway system going up and um, again your road would just go wherever you happen to have your road so I rebuild this floor about two more down after I copied and pasted because the two towers even though they're the same size and everything you would think they'd the landscape itself was a little bit off I moved the the adjustments move the windows down and um, change the ladder system to the opposite side I think it was and this is how I basically did it because this is a, wi a wider walkway you wanted to give it some look like it's got like a little bit of depth to it you don't want, it, don't want it to be too thin looking and you don't want the supports to look too thin either so I went um, three by three with it at first I did this with, with stone and make it look like it was built on something bedrocky but I said nah I decided to put some more support in there so it looks like it's supported so you do that and then you put um, the upside down stairs in there and on all sides you do this and that'll definitely help because otherwise it does not look like it's supported properly and then I go here I do sort of the same thing in reverse on the bottom I do that to all sides, but where it's going into the hill, I don't bother to do it. Oops, and I messed up put cobble there. I think I removed some of that stone later and just make it all uh, all this stone brick. But because it's in the in the in the hill, I don't bother. And I do build up the, this a little bit so it works correctly on this side too. And I do it on these sides. So ultimately it's all kind of even I do a little more decoration because right now it hurts the eyes to look at one texture like this so I decide on, on this uh, thing here to basically kind of do the what I was doing over there and support it next to the tower too on both sides made this little thing here for a lamp that's my lamp design from the other one but I think I changed it up slightly uh, you can just pause the video and some of these things and just build it from the from the picture. It's not that doesn't require really me building on air. I do the roadway systems around and here on the main castle thing. I decided to do this, sort of the same thing here and do like a support, make it look a little wider, more supported. And I change this one block up. You see in a second here. That is actually the the decorative block for the stone bricks. Looks a little different in my texture pack which is Doku Craft. Then I put in stairs here just to give it a little more. This helps not make it so stark when you're looking at it. Um, I replaced that second one with a full block in a little bit. You'll see. This is like a makeshift bridge. It wasn't meant to be really a full-fledged full bridge uh, tutorial. So I wanted the bridge that looked a little more narrow than the one I built a few episodes ago. So you'll see here, I wanted it to actually be able to physically go under it when you're on a uh, one of the boats. So I actually raise it up here one more. And I test it out a little, a little bit later. And uh, yeah. Put stone in for the supports. This doesn't quite look right. Putting in those, um, those cobble fences didn't quite look right, as you saw because the water doesn't flow around them correctly so yeah there you there I am replacing it. it looked a little little shoddy without the full blocks but up on the top I left the slabs and this is sort of something I've been working on doing lately like street lamps are sort of hanging down from the outside so this is a new design here the other side's almost the same I don't think I show that one the other side's almost the same but slightly different. You'll see it in the tour. But I go around all the windows. I make some more windows that are more elevated up here. I think I put another floor in there too. This is just a simple design. There's other designs for this I've done in some of my other builds in season one at a similar tower. You'll see I also use um make make some look make it look like some it's got some shutters too. 
with the um, trap doors. You'll see that in a minute. And underneath, I put um, an upside down one right there. Do that for all of them. And that is pretty much it. I'm going to switch over to a full uh, tour of the rest. And let some music take over. And just thank you guys for watching. I ask you guys to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And uh, hit the like button on the way out. And I will see you soon.